funny thing happened to me in a grocery store a few years back. This oak walked up to me and he said, you know, I really liked your last ad, that, that skiing ad, you know. But uh, where can I get that tiger skin panty from? And I ran out of the grocery store. I need a hand job. <laughs> You're even laughing at yourself. <laughs> well, I've been laughing at myself ever since I was born. You have to if, you, if you're Yebo Gogo, you know? You know what people probably don't know about you? Is that you are actually a talented singer and a great actor and comedian. Then South Africa got to know you <laughs> and the that, entirety. That, that was How an accident. How does that happen? Well, it was an accident, really. I mean, I was in a play. I, I stopped singing for a while because I was having vocal trouble. And I decided, I got pushed into acting. And you know, you know, when you go into acting, needs must out. You either sink or swim. Uh. And I did a few, I did some farces, some, because I'm funny, I suppose. I did some farces, then I landed up in Egoli, uh, playing the Iraqi assassin. And I <laughs> killed everybody in those days. And I was very good, I have to tell you. I liked killing people. The thugs did it. But it was really me that was, you know, sort of putting it all together. And I did all that, and then I landed up in Cape Town doing two shows back on back. One was, uh, one was called uh, This Old Man Came Rolling Home, the other one was called Murder in Green Meadows. And again, I played, in one I played an, uh, an assassin, a murderer, and the other I played this hippie. Uh. And I had long hair, but I didn't have long hair. So I had to put in ex what they called extensions. And I looked like Willie Nelson in the one play, and the other one, I put it into a ponytail and had this black hair. I had hair in those days. And I landed up um, in Cape Town doing these two plays. And the next thing, my agent rang me up in Cape Town and said, there's a, there's a commercial coming up for a company. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's a cell phone company. Never I, heard of them. I said, what's a cell phone? Because, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I went along to this audition and they said to me, can you play a Jewish bagel? And I said, is the Pope Catholic? I said, what do you want me to do? So they said, can you say Yebo Gogo? So I said, sure, Yebo Gogo. And the rest is history. And that was in 1994. Please do the other favorite though. What? The I'm football. a bugger. <laughs> I'm a bugga bugga. I don't know. That was a killer. That nearly killed me because they stuck me up a tree <laughs> and I had wires around me. And I spoke with a high voice after that because it was agony. I was dangling off a tree. Are you wearing the underwear? Uh, no. I haven't worn the underwear for, for 19 years, but I did bring it along to show. This is 18 years. Why is years. it framed and up on a wall, the famous <sighs> leopard skin underwear? You know, this is the famous, it, the, the elastic's gone. <laughs> 18 years later, I wore it the other day. I had a race with my friend Carolyn Stane and she won because I came out of it and left it behind in the pool. So uh, this is it. This is the real one. You can see. Original. Original. It's stretched a bit, but I was a bit thinner in those days. But now. Are you, are you Chiefs or Pirates? Because you, you confused us with Ama Ah. Uh, Probably pirates, but what can you there say? There we go. We Chiefs, who knows? Oh, now you have I support the winning team. There you go. Now, what we want to do with you is the uh, Sport of 10 quiz. Oh, gosh. This is the Sport of 10 cup. What are those things? But the there? cup cakes are what you get to win, oh, not oh. the whole cup. Okay, I, I rather like what's it's in, actually. Yes, but you can't have that. It's priceless. Okay, okay. <laughs> it must be. Yes. What we're going to do is ask you a few questions, and okay. let's see how we go. Oh, let's gosh. start okay. first and good foremost luck. with good luck. Look at the screen. <laughs> You can look at that one over there or the one behind you. Which one? What am I looking at? And uh, what we want you to do is, mm -hmm. tell us what that is that you see happening on the back screen or on the front screen. It's uh, coming up very shortly for you. Um, that, that's the haka, I think, from, from the, from the uh, All Blacks. What is it? It's the haka. But what is that? The haka is, 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 is a war cry that they do at the beginning of rugby, actually. Any words uh, that you could sing for us? Uh, Something like that. <laughs> Something along those and lines. And that's New Zealand. They come from New Zealand. They do. People. I actually yeah. looked it up just now and I was yeah. like, okay, what do they say? So let's just quickly go through that. Maybe well, it's a war cry. It, 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 it has it's a many Maori different meanings. Yeah. It's from so the Maoris. Kamate, kamate, kamate. Which kamate. means it's death. It's, it's death. death. And then kaora, kaora. Which means it's life, it's life. You've got the job. And then so after that, they go on about hairy men who fetch the sun and cause the sun to shine. And we don't get it, but it's a war Hairy cry. men. Hairy men, just like you. Moving on to the next uh, question <laughs> for you. And uh, the next one is, yeah. 
coming up on your screen right now. Yes. Can you tell us uh, about this man? What about him do what? you know? Jacques Cullis. His name? Jacques Cullis. Henry, and? I think, is his second name. <laughs> I think. Anything else that, makes the, that sticks out for you well, in terms of his career? I think he was Sportsman of the Year in 2011, and he scored, I, if my memory's right, 11,000 runs. And took 250 wickets. 250 wickets, yes. And his, in two, he was the only guy to have ever done that. He's the only guy that's ever done it. He's retired now. I believe. You are a sporting legend. Okay. Well, I mm -hmm. think I'm more of a legend. Never mind a sporting legend. Final legs. question yeah. for the cupcakes. Yeah. This one is, I don't expect you to know what the trophy is that they're holding, but I want you to tell me about it. The Ryder Cup. Yes. What is the Ryder Cup? The Ryder Cup is golf. It's, it happens every two years, and it happens at Glen Eagles in Perthshire in, in Scotland. And this year, I think it was the Europeans Who? against the USA. They play that way all the time. It's the USA yes, yes, against yes. Uh, uh, Europe. R Rory McElroy. You even know Rory. Ah, yes. no, you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're showing off now. He's still very funny. And the underwear, they're always there with him, clearly. <laughs> Shampoonizer yeah. is presenting you with the trophy. Uh, the yeah, cupcakes. Bonga. The cupcakes and everything. I don't know whether I shouldn't do that, but we'll see. Oh, man. Yebo <laughs> Yebo go go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I think the underwear should should actually open a foundation, and just you know, because it's older than most people, and just give away its That's expertise so and everything, open and everything. We should open a foundation as well for all those teams who came to see what's happening in the PSL. I'm talking Golden Arrows, Black Leopards, and Asen Wenger for joining Blue, Blue, Blue Fountain Celtics, because he did exactly what that keeper did. Come on. Uh, Remember, did you see him push something? Uh, yeah, some guy was there like, oh, so what's that? So what's that? So what's that? So what's that? Yeah, he pushed. Jose Mourinho. He pushed Mourinho and everything. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did push them. So, you I'd, know what? We'll talk about him next time. I'd love to carry on with two very funny men here with me, but it's time to say goodnight. That's it.